Diana has lost a distinguished gentleman, an extraordinary soul. On behalf of the government and people of Guyana, first of all, we'd like to express our sympathies to the family, but more importantly, to thank this wonderful family for sharing such an incredible soul with Diana and every Guyanese. Sometimes, in the life of remarkable men and women, we tend to forget the structure that is behind those remarkable men and women. And I'm sure this family would have made many sacrifices. Friends would have made many sacrifices. In the volume of time in his life, he spent with the people and serving the people of our country. The simplicity of the man, the humbleness of him, and the way in which he carried himself, always respectful, never allowed anyone outside those who knew him to know the impact he would have had on our country. And I know he was looking forward to sharing more of his life with the people of our country. He was looking forward to serving more. He was full of life. He was full of ideas. He was full of brilliance. His intellect never wavered one day. And I've had the opportunity to seek his counsel and receive his counsel voluntarily on many issues national, regional, and I'm very grateful for all those encounters. And I remember once we were in the Bahamas, and I was in New York, and Mr. Dr. Roger Lutchen called him to see we need you home urgently. The swearing is the champion. He said, but I have to go to my family in New York. And he was told, okay, you come, and on the very next flight, we will put you on that plane to go to New York. He did come, and he swore in the champion. It was, this country meant so much to him. So, so much to him. And I'm sorry that he did not get the opportunity to serve a little while longer. Because his knowledge would have been of such importance to the young lawyers who he said they need guidance. So, thank you all for coming. My son, my daughter in law, and all the members of the Kerak family, we thank you all. And we thank Thank you, Mr. President, for what you have said about our husband and our father and all the other speakers who so eloquently described him as a true Guyanese man. I'm grateful for him for giving me those 56 years. And now that he's going, I will be alone. The spirit would always be alone. Thank you very much.